Hey everyone, Tomias here, and welcome to another Xenos Zone Zero video. And this, this is the definitive CM Bros guide to the tier list for the release of ZZZ. And it's absolutely crazy the amount of effort that went into this. Over 60 days of testing, plus hundreds and hundreds of pages in the Excel sheet in terms of damage calculations and team building. And that's right, not only are we going to take a look at the tier list and the characters that are best in their niche, we'll also go over the team building aspects so you can rock those meta teams and even using some tier 1, tier 2 and the lower rarity characters to excel at what they do. And now if you like what you see, give a huge thumbs up to the video because not only are we going to cover this tier list, we also have an extra video that goes over the tier 1 and the tier 0 characters and explaining their mechanics so you know exactly how to play and build the characters at the game's release. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's touch very briefly on the team building aspect because it's very important to know the niche and the uh, role the team members fulfill on a three person team. You usually have a stunner or a stun character that does increased daze damage. That means you're doing increased damage to the bar below the enemy HP, which stuns the character once filled. And uh, this allows you to trigger heavy attacks into assist or chain attacks. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my beginner's guide video. But essentially, this allows you to do insane amounts of damage and it brings some cool cool assist attacks from your attackers or your supports and these are the other two roles the attackers are the ones doing the most amount of damage and your supports will buff or debuff uh, your allies and your enemies based on the kit and their skills now this is how the tier list will be broken down you've got your tier 0 tier 1 tier 2 in terms of ranking and they're separated by their respective roles in stun attack and support of course we've also got some special meta teams that will go over that may sometimes not follow the conventional team setup, but they are so good together because of their passive synergy. So we'll cover that in a second uh, portion. Now, literally kicking things off is our Wolf Bro Lycano, and he's absolutely D tier 0 representative for the stun category. And nothing even really comes close because, I mean, just look at his design. It's very, very gentleman-like, and his combo is extremely, extremely fluid. Just look at the amount of kicks he's putting into this uh, basic combo rotation. As an ice-type stun character, he's got insane amounts of days of multiplier, and one of the best partners for Alan to rate up character so you can see here that uh, he's doing his five hit combo and also he can long press to charge at any portion of the combo to uh, exchange your combo into an ice type and of course you do an extra 40 percent days damage if you fully charge your basic attack and you can also charge your special attack as well however it requires some dupes to get the max benefit from charging your special attack but even for the non duped version of him you can technically charge the extend your iframe for the special attack but most of the time you just want to release your combo and unleash the wrath upon the enemy because of how much damage he does to the day's gauge and you will be bringing the enemy down to their knees very very fast of course he is part of the best team in my opinion at release at the moment which is the ice like no plus allen uh, rate up and um, sokaku and you can see if you use your ultimate and your assist attacks you will be bringing the boss down to their knees extremely fast and like I've said this team composition of like you know into Alan into a Sokaku will be able to clear pretty much everything at launch so definitely the tier 0 stun character Next on the tier list is our tier 1 stun character, Kalida, and she's really awesome. And honestly, one of the only character right now with her partner, Ben. And they're the only character that can do coordinated attacks at the moment. And this is really crazy because although you are tied to your A rank character on the team, and hence one, she's not tier 0, but uh, as a tier 1 character with Ben the bear, you're going to do some insane amounts of uh, damage to the enemy's uh, day's gauge. And of course, you're not tied to one single element in this game because some enemies will have resistance or um, uh, take more damage from certain uh, elements so it's very important to not just have one element but for the fire element her call it up plus ben is basically your best choice into getting that uh, break gauge done now her rotation is quite unique uh, you can actually use enhanced attack to explode your basic rotations as you can see you can also summon ben during the basic rotation which 
which will do an insane amount of days uh bar gauge damage like this is absolutely crazy against any enemy typing this coordinate attack will do a significant amount and that's why you're pretty much tied to this team with only the last slot being free but your ultimate animation uh, your assist attacks and um, your uh, special parry attacks will also recover your resource which most importantly is going to be the furnace fire and that's what's gonna make or break the character for you but having your um, team set up in a way that you've got Ben and her doing the uh, multiple attacks this this is definitely gonna be meta and definitely in the tier one category the only reason why she's not tier zero in my honest opinion is because you're locked to the a wreck ban but otherwise a definite definite top tier contender now, MB is the tier 2 stun character, but we won't spend time on her in this video due to time constraints, so we'll jump only to the tier 0 and the tier 1 characters in each specific section. Now, of course, starting us off in the attacker section, the tier 0 character is Alan Joe. She is absolutely bonkers as the first raid up character in this game. The first banner will be her, and her attack animation and her rotation is absolutely a blast to use. Now, you can see that uh, her basic combination is a three hit combo with her throwing or kicking her sword out and this is the part where she does the most damage and you can long press or long hold the attack or the left click button and it will extend that animation of course to, uh, do more damage and you can see that uh, there was an icon um, the flash freeze icon below her uh, avatar that is basically her resource points and expanding these points will allow you to use an enhanced uh, basic attack and do ice damage in terms of how to gain these points at base without any any dupes the best way to gain it is uh, basically a dash into a charged attack this allows you to gain three uh, flash freeze charges which is basically perfect for your three hit basic attack combination and again you can also use enhanced skills and every time you use your enhanced skills you will gain uh, a single charge of the flash freeze charge and if you have enough energy uh, you can also use it twice which is really really cool now the basic rotation is going to be using your E, your hands attack, into a long hold press attack, uh, which is your basic attack. But you can also press E twice if you got both energy charges, and this uses the second version of the charge attack, which is the charging uh, shark. And now your assist attack and your ultimate basically allows you to jump into the air and come down and slam the enemy with the ice, and this explodes, dealing massive amounts of damage. And she also has this amazing, amazing ice attack buff. Um, but uh, this requires you to have ice uh, type team mates so in this case we've got sokaku one of the best supports and we also have yes none other than the best tier zero uh, stun character like Anno as well on the team and this is honestly one of my favorite teams and definitely in my opinion the strongest for the release of the game and next in the tier 1 attack category, we've got Soldier 11. Honestly, who designed this? Because if you look at the basic attack description for fire suppression, it says press attack at the right moment to activate and unleash a set of more powerful slashes uh, dealing fire damage. Because that's right, for her basic attack rotation, it's physical damage. But if you time your basics right, you do fire damage instead. And there's no explanation of the timings at all. And of course, you can also use your skills uh, and your ultimate to do fire damage but uh, once the game fully releases we'll have updated guys on how to get these timing things right uh, to unleash the fire attacks every single time because the multiplier for the basic attacks the fire and the non-fire version is absolutely insane it's like uh, 283 percent versus 200 percent for the fourth part and this is the fourth um, part of the basic attacks the most important uh, but otherwise you can do fire damage with your special attacks enhanced as special attacks as well but uh, yeah this is in my honest opinion a really really strong character that completes the fire team that we talked about earlier with um, the the, uh, the two um, stun characters uh, Ben the bear as well as uh, Coleta 
and these two characters pairing up with um, of course our very own soldier 11 will basically burn and destroy everything along their path granted you can get the fire attack basics out uh, you can get the timing right so a very interesting character but one that may be difficult to master um, but we have to see at release the other tier 1 character in the attack category is Nekomara, and Nekomara is so damn cute. As you can see, she is another standard S rank character that you'll meet very early in the story, and she got really amazing AoE attack and uh, just top tier memes coming out. But yes, her basic attack is a 5 uh combo attack that uh, has a chance for the last 5th attack has a 33.33% to trigger a chain attack. So sometimes you can be comboing away with her. And uh, yes, all of a sudden you're just chaining different attacks together. So uh, lots of AoE damage and uh, lots of RNG involved because you can be chaining into chained attacks. And definitely not bad in terms of the damage output. Sitting at tier 1 in terms of the uh, DPS uh, in comparison. As you can see, the two tier 1s in the standard pool, both next. Uh, Mara and uh, also Soldier 11 has some form of RNG involved in the skill kit, whether it be the 33.33% uh, with the attack chains or Soldier 11's uh, timing attack. So you can see things are a bit iffy in comparison to the tier 0 DPS in this category, of course, being Alan Joe who just dominates without any form of RNG built in. Now, Corrin and uh, Billy are the other two attackers that will get for free in this game. But again, we'll save them for a later time. But for now, uh, we'll jump straight into the supporting tier list. And of course, starting us off is none other than our tier 0 support s rank character, Rina. And uh, goddamn, her asses are huge. <laughs> and jokes aside, she is extremely, extremely powerful. And uh, one of the best support characters in the game at the moment. Not because of her damage, but how much she enables your team that's right her core component is providing penetration and your teammates will gain penetration value or penetration ratio based on uh, rena's penetration value so this is absolutely uh, crucial to making uh, the team doing insane amounts of damage and as you can see when she summons her little dolls to attack the enemy the animation does not get interrupted when you quick swap so a lot of times you'll be using your enhanced attacks or attacks and calling your allies in for an assist attack while maintaining the animation of the uh, attack coming out from Rina to not uh, interrupt anything in terms of the rotation and the damage. And she is also crucial uh, in the shock team as well, but she is viable in a variety of uh, teams because you can just quick swap her out and uh, let your main damage dealer do all the work. But in comparison, uh, the shock team with Grace and Rina is absolutely broken i mean they're so good together and honestly on par with the ice team that we have with the uh, allen's banner so uh, if you have two teams to build i definitely suggest of course the ice team and you can use arena to pair up with grace which i'll talk about in the later part of the video and next, the tier 0 supporter is Sokaku, an a rank character that is putting in so much work in the ice teams especially because if you take a look, okay, she is able to gather the enemies together and that's not all she does. The flying the flag uh, buffs her attack and of course that buff is doubled uh, when she uses the enhanced attack. However, okay, when she is on a team, she's able to transfer this attack to any ally that comes in with an assist and this is the crazy part the attack buff will be transferred if you consume uh, the uh, the vortex or I forget the special name for it. and that's why she is so strong because having your main ice type damage dealer such as Alan Joe or later on a uh, Miyabi you'll be able to obtain not only the attack buff but also be an ice character Sokaku will buff the ice type damage as well so uh, in these teams she definitely 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 is able to shine of course with her kit she can also gather all the enemies up allowing you to do aoe uh, much much more uh, easily so with everything said and done this a rank character sits in the tier zero category for uh, the support 
And as a core member of the ICE team, Sokaku not only is able to do all of the things we have just covered, she is also able to lower the enemy's ice resist by 10% lasting a second. Oh my god. Basically, a core component of the ice team and of course nicole being another free character that we'll get is not bad as a support in the early game she can gather the enemies up and also decrease their resist so uh, definitely a viable free to play option now with that done and said here is the final tier list and of course you have already seen as we have covered the ice and the fire team but uh, what about the lightning team with grace now this is one character i definitely definitely want to talk as about promise i I wanted to dedicate a special chapter to Grace, and no, that's not because I am uh, biased, all right? It's, uh, she's absolutely insane in some guide makers testing because you can see she has uh, loads of iframes if you do the uh, skill dash spam, but she can also do insane amounts of damage through shock with basic attack into enhanced or special skills, and shock is a very, very cool, unique component in this game, and uh, as the only anomaly currently in the closed beta, because uh, later on we get uh, Piper for example she sits in the tier 0 category for some of the guide makers and she's crazy crazy in terms of versatility as well she can fit in a variety of teams of course the best team for her is going to be the shock team and you've got the dedicated um, grace with uh, Anton and uh, the support being Vina this team does crazy crazy amounts of damage but you can also do a free to play version with uh, Ambi as the stun character and Nicole as the support she is even more versatile than most characters in the sense that she can fit into team comps that already exist the island plus a uh, sokaku ice team or even the julian comp later she can fit in and uh, i mean we have to test this at release uh, but uh, i think i think it's not going to be as strong as some of the guide makers make it out to be but personally i do feel anomaly is an aspect or class that we haven't explored too much because in the closed beta test mainly we just do the stun the main dps and the support but uh, grace being an anomaly especially there is a viable um, play style through arena and then also through the shock build i'm definitely going to test this so if you want a dedicated grace guide that will be coming up on my channel a hundred percent and there we have it thank you so much if you have stuck with us so far and watched the entirety of this video consider leaving a comment or subscribe as we push more Zenless Zone Zero content in the upcoming days. And as you can see, uh, we've got the tier list down and uh, hopefully this will help you uh, building specific characters and specific team compositions. Personally, I'm building towards the Ice team with Alan Joan and then Grace's team composition with the Shock team. So uh, I'll let you guys know the results and we'll have individual character guides as well coming out. So thank you guys for watching and it's Tamais here and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye now.